Let me show in a figure how far our nature is enlightened. Or unenlightened. Behold, human beings living in an underground cave which has a mouth open toward the light. Here they have been from their childhood and are chained so they can see only what is in front of them. Behind them a fire is blazing and they are not allowed to turn their heads. So, like ourselves, they see only their own shadows, the shadows of one another or of objects they possess, which the fire throws on the opposite wall of the cave. Further, this prison has an echo which is heard from people on the outside. The prisoners within have always fancied when one of the passers-by spoke that the voice came from a passing shadow. To them, the truth is literally nothing but shadows. Of true images, they know nothing. Look again now. You see what will naturally follow if the prisoners are set free and so come to realize their error. At first, when one of them is liberated and suddenly compelled to turn his head and look toward the light, he will suffer sharp pains. The glare will distress him. He will be unable to see the realities of which, in his former state of illusion, he saw only the shadows. He will at first fancy that the shadows he formerly saw are truer than the real objects which are now revealed to him. He will be required to grow accustomed to the sight of the upper world. At first he will see the shadows best. Last of all, he will be able to see the sun in its own proper place and not merely its reflections. He will then understand that the sun is what gives the seasons and in a certain way causes all things which he and his fellows have been accustomed to behold. When he remembers his old habitation and the wisdom of the cave and of his fellow prisoners, he will pity them. And if the inhabitants of the cave have been in the habit of conferring honors among themselves, he will no longer care for such honors or envy the possessors of them. He will endure anything rather than think as they do and live after their manner. And if such a one were suddenly to come back out of the sun, and place himself again in his old situation, he would be certain to have his eyes full of darkness. It would be very bad for him if there were a contest and he had to compete in measuring the shadows with the prisoners who had never moved out of the cave. In such an instant, the men of the cave would say of him, he went up and down he came without his eyes they will maintain that it is better not even to think of ascending. Hence, if anyone tried to loose another prisoner from the cave and lead him up to the light, let them only catch the offender and they would put him to death.